Hello dear food enthusiasts, welcome to another journey into the delightful world of cooking. Today, we're embarking on a culinary adventure to the captivating lands of Morocco, where the cuisine is as vibrant and diverse as its culture. Moroccan food is known for its unique blend of flavors, beautifully balancing the sweet, the spicy, and the savory in every dish. One of these is the lubia stew, a traditional Moroccan delight that's as hearty as it is healthy. Our version of lubia stew takes a delightful spin on the classic. This vegan bean stew, traditionally simmered to perfection with spices and herbs, is given an exciting twist with the addition of sun-dried tomatoes and kale. These ingredients not only add a burst of flavor, but also a boost of nutrients, making this dish a perfect blend of taste and health. So, are you ready to bring a taste of Morocco to your kitchen? Let's get started. First things first, it's time to gather all the ingredients. For our Moroccan lubia stew, we'll need two cups of dried white beans. They are the heart of this dish, providing a rich, hearty base. Next, a quarter cup of sun-dried tomatoes, chopped. Their tangy sweetness will add depth and complexity to our stew. Then, two cups of finely chopped kale, for a vibrant burst of color and a healthful twist. We also need one large onion and three cloves of garlic, minced, to infuse our stew with a savory aroma. For spices, we'll use a teaspoon each of paprika and cumin, and half a teaspoon each of turmeric and black pepper. These spices will give our stew that distinctive Moroccan flavor. Lastly, don't forget the salt to taste and two tablespoons of olive oil for sauteing. Now that we have everything we need, it's time to start cooking. Our first step is to prepare the beans, the heart of our lubia stew. Beans are a staple in Moroccan cuisine, providing a hearty base for many dishes, and this stew is no exception. So let's get those beans ready. First, you'll need to soak the beans. This is a crucial step, as soaking helps to soften the beans, making them easier to cook and digest. It also helps to reduce the beans' natural gas-producing sugars, making your dish more enjoyable for everyone. To do this, place your beans in a large bowl and cover them with plenty of cold water. You'll want to let them soak for at least 8 hours or overnight if possible. While your beans are soaking, let's talk about the type of beans to use. Traditional Moroccan lubia is made with white beans, but you can use any bean of your choice. Just remember, the size and type of the bean may affect the soaking and cooking time, so adjust accordingly. Once your beans have soaked, it's time to rinse them. Rinsing is just as important as soaking, as it helps to wash away any remaining sugars and impurities. To rinse, simply drain the beans in a colander and then run cold water over them until the water runs clear. After rinsing, place your beans in a pot and cover them with fresh water. Bring the water to a boil, then reduce the heat and let the beans simmer. You'll want to cook them until they're tender, but still hold their shape. This could take anywhere from one to two hours, depending on the type of bean you're using. And that's it. Your beans are now ready to be transformed into a delicious lubia stew. Remember, the key to a great stew is to start with well-prepared beans. So take your time, follow these steps, and your beans will be perfect. Now that our beans are ready, we'll move on to the main cooking process. Now comes the exciting part, bringing all our ingredients together to create our delicious stew. First things first, we're going to heat a generous glug of olive oil over medium heat in a large pot. It's time to get those aromatics sizzling. Toss in the finely chopped onions and minced garlic. We're going to saute these until they're soft and golden, which will take about five to seven minutes. This step is crucial as it forms the flavor base of our stew. Now let's turn up the heat a little. It's time to introduce our spices to the mix. Freshly ground cumin, a pinch of cayenne and warm earthy turmeric. Stir these in and let them toast for a minute or two. This step is like unlocking the doors to Flavortown, releasing the spice's aromatic oils and enhancing the overall taste of our stew. As the spices start to release their fragrant aromas, we introduce our star ingredient, the soaked and drained white beans. Give the pot a good stir, making sure the beans are well coated in the spiced onion mix. This is the beginning of the lubia stew's character, where the beans start absorbing all the beautiful flavors. Next, we're going to pour in our vegetable broth. The broth should be enough to cover the beans. If you feel it's not enough, don't hesitate to add a little water. Bring this concoction to a boil, then reduce the heat, cover the pot, and let it simmer. And now, we wait. This is where the magic happens, as the ingredients slowly meld together, creating a symphony of flavors. Simmering is essential in stews. It gives the ingredients time to break down, soften, and release their flavors into the broth. Patience is key here, my friends. We're going to let our stew simmer for about 45 minutes to an hour. While our stew is simmering away, 
let's not forget to check on it from time to time. Give it a gentle stir every 15 minutes or so. This not only ensures that our stew is cooking evenly, but also gives us a chance to adjust the seasoning. As our stew nears the end of its simmering time, it's time to add our diced tomatoes. The tomatoes add a lovely tangy note that balances out the rich flavors of the stew. Stir them in and let the stew simmer for another 10 minutes. After a good simmer, our stew is almost ready, but we have a couple of final touches to add. So stay tuned as we're about to elevate this stew from delicious to divine. Our stew wouldn't be complete without the unique flavors of sun-dried tomatoes and kale. With their deep, tangy sweetness and their hearty, earthy crunch, these two ingredients will take our Moroccan Lubia stew to the next level. Now let's get into the details. Sun-dried tomatoes, as the name suggests, are tomatoes that have been dried in the sun or in a dehydrator. This process concentrates their flavor, giving them a rich, robust taste that's simply irresistible. When adding them to the stew, it's best to chop them into small pieces first. This will allow their flavor to spread throughout the stew, giving every bite a burst of tomato goodness. Kale, on the other hand, is a leafy green that's packed with nutrients. It has a slightly bitter taste that's balanced out by the sweetness of the sun-dried tomatoes. When adding kale to the stew, you'll want to tear the leaves into bite-sized pieces and discard the tough stems. Once you've prepared the sun-dried tomatoes and kale, you can add them to the stew. Simply stir them in and let the stew cook for another five to seven minutes. This will allow the flavors to meld together without overcooking the kale and losing its nutritional value. Remember, the key here is balance. You want to taste the beans, the tomatoes, and the kale in every spoonful. Adjust the amount of sun-dried tomatoes and kale to your liking, but don't overwhelm the other flavors in the stew. With these final additions, our Moroccan Lubia stew is now ready to serve. So grab a bowl, sit back, and savor the exotic flavors of Morocco. And there you have it, a hearty and delicious Moroccan Lubia stew right in your kitchen. Now let's talk about the best way to serve this. Traditionally, Lubia stew is served piping hot straight from the pot. It's a dish that invites you to dig in, to savor every bite. And what does it pair well with? A fresh loaf of bread, preferably crusty and warm, is the perfect companion to this stew. The bread helps to soak up all the robust flavors of the sun-dried tomatoes and kale, making every mouthful a delightful experience. Now, let's take a moment to reflect on the cooking process. It's been a journey, hasn't it? From preparing the beans to cooking the stew and adding the sun-dried tomatoes and kale, each step has been an integral part of creating this traditional Moroccan dish. It's not just about the end result, but also about the joy and satisfaction that comes from the act of cooking itself. This Moroccan Lubia stew is more than just a meal. It's a celebration of Moroccan cuisine, of its rich flavors and vibrant culture. And the best part? You've brought this celebration right into your own kitchen. Remember, the beauty of cooking lies in the journey as much as the destination. Until next time, happy cooking!